you know, just was kind of sick of my hair, but uh, told Brevin that I'd leave a little bit of it, so I uh, kind of have the rat tail now, but it's kind of uh, makes it a little easier, you know, uh, keeping up uh, hygiene stuff, so. Adjust the helmet and everything, too, then? Huh? Uh, not too much. Pretty thin air, but... <laughs> Feel like you score a touchdown against your home state? Uh, you know, it was, it was a surreal feeling. Um, getting my first touchdown of the year, but uh, just as a team, um, thought we played well, but we just didn't do enough to win. Um, and that's kind of how I feel at the end of the day, but uh, focused on Indiana right now. Co, have you thought about uh, your future? PJ says you want to be a strength coach. You thought about where you're going to go after this and, and possibly having a shot at the NFL too? Um, yeah, you know, right now, um, looking ahead, um, is important to do, but, uh, right now, um, just for me and something I talked to tight ends about is just focusing on these next two weeks and especially on Indiana right now. Um, but yeah, it's coming down the pipe pretty fast. I'm going to get into the real world or a little real world a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I would love to be a strength coach. Um, you know, after my collegiate career, after my football career, but, uh, right now we're just focused on Indiana as much as possible. How much are you trying to save her just knowing that there's only a few more opportunities here left? Oh, you know, I'm just, just practice today, um, you know, talking to guys like Connor Olson, Sam, um, you know, just getting these final opportunities, final days to be around um, our teammates and coaches, um, just taking it all in and making the most of it, having as much fun as possible. Connor's about to break a Big Ten record for 56 uh, career starts. What was he meant to you and, and, and to your teammates? Um, you know, Connor Olson's really, you know, the last four or five years has been pretty much the heart and soul um, of our offense. Um, you know, he's just the hardest working kid on and off the field. Um, obviously, um, hopefully he gets accepted in medical school here um, coming up soon. But, you know, the kid is just, uh, you know, you want, quote, unquote, the classic quote, um, you want him in your foxhole. You know, he'll do anything for you. And uh, that's just the type of guy he is. So what do you what do you see in Indiana? Uh, I see a really good, really excellent defense. Um, D line solid. Um, you know they have a bunch of seniors on their team. Um, it's going to be senior day, um, and they're going to give us our best shot. Um, they're a team that their record doesn't show it, but they're an excellent team. Um, you know last year they were one game away from winning the Big Ten East, and you know maybe going to a Big Ten bowl game like that, but. Uh, they're an excellent team despite their record, and that's how we're going to treat them. Go, your parents uh, run the tailgates. Uh, they're coming down the last couple of them. Uh, what's what's it been like? Uh, what was that meant to you, even? Um, you know, it's just it's nice. Um, I don't think they're going to do one um, for Wisconsin. I think they're kind of done doing it. But uh, it's just been super nice. Um, it's just a great opportunity to see everyone that came um, to the game to watch me. Um, just be around my family after the game, um, get there, eat good food. You know, it's just food, food, family, fellowship um, type of thing. So uh, it's just nice to have after a game. And it just shows, um, you know, win or loss that um, I have people there for me. And uh, it means a lot. Cool. I th think I saw something about the highest graded uh, tight end in the Big Ten um, or Power Five maybe. Um, what has is, what is clicked for you here this year over previous years? You know, I just say um, physically um, being in the right state, um, just my body nutrition, you know, the weight room. But uh, I think mentally having that confidence um, that the coaches have, Coach Patterson has in me, and then uh, just going out and performing on Saturday and not worrying about, you know, play to play, not getting hung up on one certain play, but just focusing on the next one. And, you know, um, I think it was like PFF, but – you know, uh, come in on Sunday and there's a bunch of plays from the Iowa game where uh, if I do my job a little bit better, you know, that would have given us a better chance to win. And so, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's a cool honor, but uh, there's a lot of things that I need to improve upon. Do you have any tight end in the NFL or anything that you kind of look at and try to pattern a game after it all? Not, not really, I guess. Um, I don't really watch the NFL too much. We don't really get a chance to on Sundays. We're kind of busy with our own stuff. But, uh, you know, I just, I just try to be me, um, who I am, and not going to be somebody else. 
Um, just trying to be me. What's the Sunday schedule like for you guys? Do you come in right away and, and, and try to watch the film right away? Do you get a little time to digest it? What do you do? Uh, I mean, yeah, we usually have like a lift and have meetings and sometimes we do like a walkthrough, but um, it's just kind of between homework and that, you know, it's pretty busy, so. Everyone all set with go? All right. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen.